An East Tennessee woman has made her way onto this year's Guinness World Records book for the world's longest competitive mullet. It's a category. Our Ellie Bird sat down and got an exclusive interview. Um, okay. It's like, would you like this color hair there? <laughs> the world's longest mullet sits on the head of East Tennessee native Tammy Manis. She is your 2024 Guinness World Records winner for the world's longest competitive mullet at around 5 feet 8 inches long. There are 19 different types of mullet. That is a rabbit hole you can go down. By definition, short on the side, short on top, long in the back. People that have it like over their ears and stuff. I call that a shag. But. She says it started in the 80s when she saw a band member with a rat tail, so she got one. When she cut it, she says she immediately regretted it. So on February 9th, 1990, the mullet was born. She says she hasn't looked back besides to make sure she's not stepping on her hair. It's so funny because at the beginning it's like, oh, you have a rat tail. And then it became, oh, you still have a rat tail? Two. No, it's not as negative now. Manis came in second place for the USA Mullet Championship. This led to her being entered into the Guinness World Records for 2024. When she's not breaking records, she's a public health nurse at the Knox County Health Department, where the mullet is kept in a braid. When you have the world's longest mullet, you need to make a little adjustment. So, we tuck the tail and we go for a ride. It is 68 inches long. It has been verified stretched out. It's fluffy and it kind of draws it up a little bit, but it's almost to my ankles when it's braided. So it's still somewhat impressive in the braided state. As if Manis wasn't recognized enough by her hair, she is also known around Knoxville for her car, Ducky. The flame duck mobile. Yeah, several years ago I hit a deer, busted the grill, needed something to hold it in place. Being with the fire department, I saw the flames and I thought that'd make a great little labra there. Next thing I know, I'm like, hmm, and I covered the whole thing in duct tape. She says she's blown away with the love and support she is getting from all across the globe. This is so surreal for me. It's just who I am. I just work every day and now this has got a lot of attention, which I'm grateful for. In Knoxville, I'm Ellie Burr, WVLT News. Unique and proud of it. You can expect to see the new Guinness World Records book on the shelves coming up in the middle of this month.